Pisces. Hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for early October 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business as always and start you off with an oracle card here just so we could dip our toes into energy and see what's happening for the lovely Piscean people. Hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic, my friends. Let's get it going, my guides. Talk to me. What do we got for Pisces here? in early October, what energies, messages, insights, wisdom, all that good stuff that we share. And yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. And at the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean into, which is always interesting. But let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for Pisces in early October. Lovely time of year, Libra season. Let's see what's happening. For us Pisceans, what energies do you got for us? Guys, there we go. Thank you. All right. Very spiritual, loving, nurturing type of energy, which is really nice. And that's a nice little break from what I normally get in the front end of most of the Pisces readings, right? If you're a regular watcher, you know, I always get this like etheric, imaginative type of energy. This is definitely a different flavor. So I'm appreciating it. Now, before we fully dive into that, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the October subscriber surprise towards the end, so you might want to check that out. And also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo, into the reading. Let's talk more about this card. So we see this lovely lady in the red head dress, and it looks like she's snuggling up to that white bird. In symbolism and in divination, white birds generally represent angelic, love and light types of energies. So we're talking guardian angels, spirit guides, ancestors, your spirit team, whatever label you want to put on it. This to me is a huge card of spiritual protection. Maybe some Pisceans out there, you feel like you're walking a spiritual path or you have a spiritual mission tied to whatever it is you're working through right now, which makes sense because Pis Pisces energy it has one foot in the other realm, right? It's a very spiritual sign. So a lot of Pisceans are strong in those types of beliefs, very sensitive to energies. So just know that you're protected. You're being watched over. That's a beautiful thing. Now, another thing I do say about this, this it's very affectionate. It's a very open energy. So whether some of you are craving that, yearning for that, a little love, affection, big hugs. I'll give you a big virtual bear hug. You know, I always offer it when this card shows up. Um, it, it could just be someone you're linked to as well. So that it's like soft around the edges. So we're just going to leave it at that for now. Let's get into tarot. I do like it. It's a good energy to lead off with. Uh, let's get you three cards in the upright. Then we'll get into that intuitive juiciness. Shuffle it up one time here for my beautiful Pisces, please. What do we got? What do we have? And yeah, while we get this shuffled and ready to go, let's talk about last week's reading, my friends. Pretty decent energy. I would say that the reading was titled The Surprising Return. So just know for a lot of Pisceans in this time, there could be various situations, people, you name it, things that you're familiar with that you might have to revisit. So I'm not saying that you're living in a closed loop, but there could be things that you're familiar with where it's like, okay, got to deal with this again. Or there could even be various individuals that are popping back up like that was showing up in a really strong way. And other zodiac signs have been seeing it recently too. So let's see what shows up for you this week. As you know, energy is very fluid, never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you because we could be seeing your vibe or somebody you're linked to. Let's get it going. What is happening for the Pisces Collective? What do we got here in early October? Thank you. Okay, King of Swords. A little different. little different than this card we have here up front. Because this one is not so soft and cuddly. Talk about it. And just put them in place. Doesn't have to be a bad thing. King of Swords is very cerebral. But not in a super imaginative type of way. It's more about logic. Ooh, good ideas. We have the Six of Wands. So for a lot of Pisces in this time, you could have really, really nice ideas flowing through your head. Good energy, good flow. Let's get one more here. Fire, air combo. You know I like that. What do we have here for Pisces, please? Thank you. And the world. Okay. So this, I saw this in the same position in the Cancer reading. So this must be a water sign thing. And the world is not a bad card, even though it can represent the closes of certain cycles. I feel like it's positive. And that's something I feel like the Pisces reading is sharing in common with Cancer, because we do have powerful energy here, but they're all leaning optimistic, so I'm cautiously optimistic here. Let's go through, I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes, then we'll get into the juicy intuitive stuff. But at first look, first glance, elementally, I kind of like what we're picking up here. 
we have some air, we have some fire. Now, elementally, when you mix those two, you know that could be things accelerating rapidly. This could also represent a little bit of an unpredictable type of vibe. I always say mixing air and fire can be very explosive. It'd be possible individuals. We have a card of victory. We have a card of chapters closing. So it's like a little bit of a mixed bag, whether this is separate things or all one thing. But I felt intuitively with the King of Swords and Six of Wands, for a lot of Pisces, you could be really great at brainstorming things in this time, whether it's solutions, whether it's new ideas. Like I feel a great brainstorming energy about the collective. Let's go through piece by piece and really start to build it out. Though. So position number one, we have the King of Swords. And like I mentioned, it's not as soft and cuddly as this Oracle card that we have here. It's quite the opposite. Now, for a portion of you, it might just be connected to an air sign. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that's not a bad thing. And it's not gender specific. The King of Swords, as with all kings, represents control of his respective suit. The King of Swords, as with the sword suit, represents thought the mind, but also communication. So for a lot of you, you might be trying to keep your mind on track, set a schedule, stick to a routine of some sort that could be very possible with this King of Swords. This is a huge card for determination, but also planning. It's extremely intelligent and logical when we see it. So a different type of mental activity than what us Pisceans usually have. We're usually a little more go with the flow etheric. This is like in its logic. So for some of you, maybe there's situations that you're dealing with like that. Now, the King of Swords, again, aside from plans and strategy, because it can be extra strategic, it's just serious in its ways. So whether there is something that you should take seriously, uh, whether there's something you are taking seriously, to me, it's just very stern. It's not soft and cuddly. In its challenge, the King of Swords can be cold and harsh. So in this time, watch out for individuals that might be that way. You might want to put some distance. Moving to the center, we have a very positive energy. We have the Six of Wands. Victory, I love this. Now, the Six of Wands is Leo energy. Um, well, it's connected to the Zodiac sign. And you see this individual, it looks like he's marching in a parade. They have their laurels. It's a celebration. So again, I do see this as a card of victory, of triumph, of course. But it also links into recognition, public notoriety, getting kudos for the things that you've done. And I love the recognition aspect of this. So if you're the type of person where you do a lot of things behind the scenes or you're putting in a lot of effort into something, this card tells us like, okay, this will pay off. One day you will get the recognition that you deserve here. So this is a really nice card and I do like it. The challenge of the Six of Wands would be if you're dealing with any individuals that are a little too egotistical. Because remember, every card has challenges and pos uh, positivity. Again, so this could be victorious and a lot of recognition, but at the same time, this could be someone with the hyperinflated ego that never loses. Okay, so just something to keep in mind. It's food for thought. Doesn't always have to be that. Now, getting to the back end, I feel like this could be possibly a critical card within this reading. We have the world. Okay, so mixing all the energy that we have flowing here together, the world itself is the last of the major arcana. So naturally, it represents endings closings, the close of a chapter, the end of a cycle. Now, not every ending is a bad thing. This is a big card of metamorphosis, something coming to fruition, something coming to a head. So when I see this fire-air combination, the positivity flowing to here, this tells me like, okay, Pisces, this might turn out really well, or there could be something you're working towards or putting your energy towards where it could go your way when all is said and done. Now, the world is also extremely karmic. It does speak about the cycles of life, what you put forth, you get back in return. If you do good, you receive good. Um, it could represent karma in the other way for other people as well. Like they're going to get what they deserve when this card shows up. Uh, aside from the ending connection, one little significant energy that I connect to it that not every reader does is I think of the world itself as the world itself, like world events and the world around us. And as part of the collective, I know that we can be energy sponges sometimes. So just know you might be affected by things that are going on in the world today or world events in some way or manner could be affecting your mood. So I want to dive deeper on all the Pisces. Let's do it. Let's jump in and clarify. Okay, let's get a good shuffle here. See what's happening. What do you got for us? And yes, I always like to jump in here and clarify. This is where I go intuitive, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot. Because um, as you know, every reader is just giving you their interpretation and I'm giving you mine. So let's go in on that King of Swords. 
And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages you want to give Pisces, you could drop it in the comments. I don't mind at all. All right, King of Swords time. What's this about? Is it a plan? Thank you. Tower. Whoa. Okay. Shocking type of energy there, my friends. Now, I don't necessarily feel like this is a bad tower, and we're going to have to see how this all plays out moving forward. But anytime we see a tower, it's something that goes from zero to 100. Now, I do feel like this, a portion of you might be a little bit on edge, or there's someone you're connected to that could be very much on edge. Like, listen, I'm, I got my eyes on things. I'm watching, you know, with this tower type of energy. I'm prepared for all possibilities. It's giving me that vibe. However, another thing that I'm picking up, Whatever project or whatever work thing or even relationship that you take seriously, if you take it very seriously and you put focused intent towards it, I feel like you can get the wanted results much quicker than you think. Now, yes, sometimes in life, things are a long game. But when I see the tower underneath the King of Swords, it's like, okay, if you take this seriously, you'll be able to shake things up in the way that you want. Now, I really want to see how the rest of this plays up. But for a big portion of you, this could be like a shocking winner victory that I'm already picking up. So it's going to be extra important to see what's happening there in the center. Now, this card does link to Scorpio. So you might have Scorpio placements. You might be linked to one. Scorpio, similar to the world on the back end, is a karmic card. It's a card of cycles, rebirth, the whole nine, change. But I do feel for a lot of a lot of Pisceans, if there's something you take seriously, it's like a shocking win. You're probably going to get much better results than you would imagine. That's how it feels to me. So let's keep moving. Let's keep moving forward. I feel like you can affect change in a pretty big way. That's just how it's showing up to me. Or like you, you can affect change in a situation in a big way. So let's see why the Six of Wands is here. Shocking win or victory. I like that. I do like that. That's a good tower to me. You know, unless you've had a fallout with an air sign. Well, it really depends, right? Yeah, boom, four of wands. Another karmic energy, which is beautiful, stable, total opposite from this tower. So this is good. So yeah, even if you are dealing with some curveballs that we were picking up here on the front end, because that might be part of it, in order to like achieve what you want to achieve, there might be a curveball or two that you need to overcome. But again, the 11-11 card, the signs, synchronicities, and omens, I do feel like the spirit team, your gods, are cheering you on. Now, I know not every person out there is a very spiritual individual. Uh, some people are all about the logic. Some people are scientific-minded, and that's for sure. But I do feel, regardless, whether you believe in it or not, your gods are urging you along. They're nudging you along. So watch for the number signs, the synchronicities, the omens, because it's like, okay, you, no, you'll get this. You're going to get this done. You're going to make it happen. The Four of Wands is celebratory, so this is one of the best alignments we can pull, Pisces. Six of Wands clarified by Four of Wands, what? I mean, look into those cards after you watch this reading, after it's complete, and you'll see what I mean. This is beautiful. So again, I feel like this is a good tower we have here on the front end. Um, let's keep moving. I don't feel like we need to muddy that, and I feel like you are getting re reassurance and energetic support in this. So watch for the synchronicities and number signs. Let's go in on the world. So three of the five cards we have right now are karmic in nature. And I saw similar things in the Cancer reading. Lots of karmic energy around the water signs. Okay. And there it is. Four of swords in reverse underneath the world. A lot of Pisceans are on the precipice of something big here. Okay. And again, I'm not saying this is all going to be life-altering, life-changing type of energy. Mile, uh, mileage may vary depending on your situation or what it is you're going through. But when I see the Four of Swords flipped in reverse under a movement card like the world, it does feel like either there's a change or a metamorphosis that might be complete. Or again, like, I think you can get the desired result that you want. Okay? And I feel like that's claimable energy. If I saw the Four of Swords in the upright, I'd be like, okay, this might take quite a while. You might be dealing with some delays. But to me, it's like, okay, the desired result, if you're realistic about it, you can attain it. Because okay? this in the upright is movement. I mean, in reverse is movement. So notice we have double fours showing up. We have lots of karmic energy showing up. There's powerful energy. There's air and fire. There's tower. There's things moving the energy forward. So I'm loving what I'm feeling in this reading for us, Pisces. I really am. Even if the universe does throw a couple curveballs. Okay? So there's something brewing. And again, that's what I felt in the cancer reading too. Like there's something brewing. There's something cooking 
underneath the surface. So it's like only a matter of time before the pressure builds. Let's go through and do a quick recap, then we'll get into the shadow card. If you kindly look in the box, position number one, we have the King of Swords with the Tower. Boom. Your focused intent, you could accomplish something quicker than you think. And this is a shocking winner victory because of the cards that come back after it. I'm loving what I'm feeling here. You could get the desired result. In the center, we have the Six of Wands with the Four of Wands. That's a lot of spiritual, energetic support urging you on. So watch for the signs and synchronicities. And again, you can get what the desire is, what you're wanting. Onto the back end, we have the world with the four of swords in reverse. Something's cooking, something's brewing. But again, there is something that is very much attainable for you. Now, I know a lot of Pisces are watching this for different reasons, but the future looks bright here. It does. And I feel like you might be surprised by how quick you can accomplish something. So please take a screenshot if you want to look into it further. Let's see what's in the shadows. I like it. I mean, I feel like that's a very claimable reading this week, Pisces. But let's see what's in the shadows here. And yes, I always like to pull one shadow card at the very end just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see. Shadow cards don't always have to be a challenge. They could be a good thing. So let's get you one. Oh, and yes, if you made it to this point in the reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it in the comments below. It's a beautiful way to support the channel and I have much love for all my channel members. Okay, let's see what's happening. What is in the shadows for us, please? Thank you. And there it is again, the Six of Wands again. So it's like we're getting confirmation after confirmation after confirmation in this reading. And that's a beautiful thing. So even within the shadow portion, we get one of the more positive cards in the whole entire deck of victory. So when we're talking about shocking wins or victories and we have the Six of Wands, Four of Wands, we get the Six again. We even have number signs and synchronicities throughout the weekly reading as well to really confirm a lot of the things that I've been feeling here, Pisces. Now, remember, the dark side of the Six of Wands, it could, again, represent ego. So I do feel for a lot of you when this energy does start moving in the direction that you want, I think it's good, good to keep a humble approach the best you can. Like, try to stay grounded, try to stay humble because this energy is moving in such a positive way. Um, if you're dealing with egotistical people, I think it might be safe to keep a distance from them for the time being when this card shows up as the shadow, because there might be extra friction and people that are too boisterous or too over, um, over arrogant could really rub you the wrong way here. But again, this does link in with the whole reading itself. I love it, Pisces. I'm claiming it for myself. That's for sure. But yeah, my friends, that's what I have for you this week. Don't click away just yet. I'm going to give you the details of the October subscriber surprise. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can check out my digital calendar for the month of October at my website, mastermetaphysics.com. But for the October subscriber surprise, I'm giving away two copies of one of my favorite decks, the Tarot of the Owls. So if you'd like to get your name in for that, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed. Second, let me know down in the comments, hypothetically, if you had to get a tattoo of a tarot card, which one would you choose and why? You'll be entered to win. And at the end of the month, the winners will be announced in my community tab. As always, my friends, much love. I'll see you again soon.